First and foremost, guys, this was an amazing film. I, I first of all, I was a big fan of the graphic novel, and holy crap, this like hit me so hard. Great film. Uh, can you can you guys talk to me a little bit about your characters and how they kind of play into the role of the old guard? For Merrick, he finds out from uh, from Copley that there's uh, a group of people in the world who are immortal. And Merrick is the CEO of a, of a big pharma company. And so of course this interests him. And uh, so that's sort of Merrick's, how he's uh, related to the old guard. In terms of Merrick, he, I think we want to believe at the beginning that he, um, he wants to find the cure. He wants to, he wants to work out their genetic code and, and to help the greater good, to, to help end all the disease in the world. And then of course, as the story goes along, um, it, it, it goes a bit pear-shaped for Merrick. So I think that's what I'll say. <laughs> and then Copley, he's the one that kind of gets uh, Andy's team involved. He, he obviously knows Andy's team uh, has a past. Can you talk to me about what, uh, what his motivations are? Yeah, I mean, he's uh, ex-CIA, and so he has had some, some contact with, with, with Andy and the, and the old guard in the past. Um, and now he's trying to sort of involve them in certain missions again. Um, and, you know, he is somebody who has gone through a lot of, um, well, a very sort of specific bereavement in his life. And so it is dealing with, with that. And that bereavement is then informing some of the choices that he's making. And these choices are starting to cross moral and ethical lines, maybe even his own. But, you know, he meant, I think we with him maintain a sense of kind of, of empathy with him as, as a character because of, you know, what he's struggling with. And, um, you know, and so he's quite a grounded person. And, and I think that we sort of understand his humanity very well. So that's what was uh, exciting to me about playing Cop. In the graphic novel and even in the film, I think Old Guard explores a lot of, a lot of interesting themes. And it kind of blends together mythology along with... Uh, a fresh new group of characters. Uh, what were some of the themes that spoke to you about Old Guard when you guys took on the project? One of the things um, that really sort of excited me, certainly when reading it and then seeing the film was this idea of immortality. Obviously that's been around forever, no, no pun intended, but um, it, 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 it deals with it in such a way where you really feel the weight of the world on these um, characters' shoulders. It's not necessarily a gift. It's um, something that uh, is a burden. And I think the every single character in, in the old guard, the way that individually they explore that sort of pain, that loss, that loneliness, that um, whatever you want to call it, I think is really, um, really special alongside the action. I think it's that combination that makes the film so thrilling. Uh, the film's fantastic. Chuis, I want to switch gears for one second. Uh, that I know the Doctor Strange sequel has been increasingly one of Marvel's most anticipated releases. Uh, have you gotten an update when you guys are expected to, to start up on that? We're hoping to start pretty soon, is what I can tell you. So, um, you know, as, as, as soon as possible. Um, you know, so we're all, uh, you know, we're all really excited to, to, to get going and to get cracking with it. So, um, yeah, can't wait. Well, I can't wait till everyone can see this film because I'm going to have a big uh, well, not big, but a release party at my place because this film is amazing. It's incredible. I thank you guys so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.